Hi everyone, Vincenzo here with a new ukulele tutorial. This week, let's learn one of the most useful scales you can learn, the major pentatonic. This scale is without a doubt a scale that you must know. And in this tutorial, you will learn why it is so important and how to play it in five different positions. Like I said, this lesson is about the major pentatonic. If you wanna learn the minor one, check out this other lesson instead. But anyway, enough with the talking and let's get started. First of all, the word pentatonic comes from the Greek penta, which means five, and tonic, which means note, tone. As you can imagine, the pentatonic scale has five notes. These five notes not only sound very well together, but also work very well over a lot of very common chord progressions. This is one of the key reasons why the pentatonic is so important. Now, one way of seeing the major pentatonic is like a major scale minus the fourth and the seventh degree. The fourth and the seventh tend to create some tension and they're not the easiest notes to use when playing or when improvising. So actually, one of the reasons why the major pentatonic is so cool is that we get rid of these difficult notes. The five notes of the major pentatonic scale are the root, meaning the first note, the note that gives the scale its name, the major second, the major third, the perfect fifth, and the major sixth. So, for example, the notes of C major pentatonic will be the root, the first note, C, then D, the major second, then E, the major third, then G, the perfect fifth, and A, the major sixth. Let's play it. Three, four. One more time. And back to C. Now, if you have followed my lesson on the minor pentatonic, which you can find in the description, by the way, you might have noticed that the notes of C major pentatonic are exactly the same as the one of A minor pentatonic. But it's important to understand that they are two different scales. In fact, they have a different root note and a different tonal center. This is not the only example of when you have the same notes for different scales. I understand that at first it might not make sense, but this is a pretty common thing in music. Having said that, without waiting any further, let's start looking at the five positions, shapes, to play the major pentatonic everywhere on the fretboard. By the way, I will show you the five positions of D major pentatonic, but later you will learn how to transpose them in any key. For the first position, you start from fret number two on the third string, then four, two and five, on the second string and then two and five on the first string. You then go back and you have five, two, five, two, four and two. Let's do it again. Three, four. By the way, the note highlighted is the root of the scale, in this case D. Pay attention to this as it's going to be very important later on when you're going to learn how to transpose this scale in another key. For the second position, you start from fret number 4, then 6, then 5, 7, and then 5, which is the root, and then 7. When you go back, you have 7, 5, 7, 5, 6, and 4. Let's do it again. 3, 4. And now let's have a look at position 3. You start from friend number 6, then 9, then 7, 10, there you go the root, and then 7 and 9. When you go back, you have 9, 7, 10, 7, 9, and 6. Let's do it again. 3, 4.
By the way, notice how I keep all the fingers on the fretboard when playing, you know, like this. I recommend you do this too. Position four starts from fret number nine, then 11, then 10, there you go, the root, 12, and then nine and 12. You go back and you have 12, nine, 12, 10, 11, and nine. Let's do it again. Three, four, Okay, now let's move on to the last one. The fifth and last position starts from fret number 11. Then you have 14, the root, then 12 and 14, and then again 12 and 14. When you go back, you have 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 11. Let's do it again, three, four, Now you know all the positions to play the major pentatonic scale everywhere on the fretboard, but you only know the D ones. The good thing is that once you know one of them, you know them all. If you followed my tutorial about the minor pentatonic, you already know what I'm gonna be talking about. But let me explain it again for everyone who's new. So before I always highlighted the root for you, in fact, knowing where the root is will help you to transpose the scale in other keys. All you have to do is find the root, change it to the new root, the one that you want, and then apply the position you've just learned. Let me show you how it works. For example, you know this is the D major pentatonic scale in position one, and the root is here on fret two. Now, Say you wanna play G major pentatonic, that means that the root has to be G. So you have D, then D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G. I'm just going through the notes in chromatic order, you know, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, and so on and so on. Going back to this, now that you've found the root, you simply play position one, starting from G. you got your G major pentatonic. Let's now find out how to play B major pentatonic in position 5. So this was D major pentatonic in position 5. The root is here. Now you need to move this one to B, so you will go backwards. D, D flat, C and B. Now I can play B major pentatonic in position 5. The aim of this tutorial was to introduce you to the major pentatonic scale and teach you how to play it everywhere on the fretboard and in any key. When practicing the major pentatonic, use a metronome and make sure that you are playing using the appropriate technique. This way you can learn scales and at the same time work on your technique. On my Patreon page you can find the tabs for the five positions you've learned today. Moreover, you can find free backing tracks at three different tempos to practice the D major pentatonic, the G1 and the B1. With the backing tracks, you get to practice the major pentatonic scale over a chord progression so that it's a little bit more musical and so that you can also start exploring the sound of the scale more. Also, don't forget that if you learned something from this video and you would like to say thank you, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments if everything is clear. By the way, if you wanna take your playing to the next level, have a look at my free course here on YouTube and download my free A-Step Roadmap, link in the description, that will tell you the exact process I followed to learn the ukulele. Moreover, check out the other links in the description to learn more about the types of classes that are got available at the moment. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new tutorials. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!